Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and I did get a new microphone guys so hopefully you guys can hear me better now and the quality should be just like insane and hopefully now I can make better tutorials. So in this video we'll be going over variable arguments or also known as var args. So what I'm talking about here is if we go to a script, we have this function, and in the parameters we have these three dots. This is what I'm talking about. I'm explaining what it means and everything like that. So I'm talking about these three dots and what they mean. So in Roblox Studio, the three dots in the parameters actually means an arbitrary number of arguments, basically, or variable numbers, too. So this provides a lot of flexibility for our functions and all of our code because you can pass basically anything uh, through these three dots. So when we call a function, so we're going to say function down here, we're going to call it, and we can pass in an infinite amount of arguments basically. So if we were to pass in one, two, three, four, five, these three dots would represent one, two, three, four, and five basically in a table so again the three dots it represents everything that you pass through these functions and that's why it's called a variable arguments so if you wanted to make a quick function that added up any amount of numbers that you pass in it well we can make a function called add numbers and down here we can say add numbers and then we can begin coding this function which will add all the numbers that we begin uh, into it so we're going to say local sum is equal to zero because this will add up everything um, and even before that we're going to get our numbers so how we can do this is by loop putting the three dots in a table so just like this we are putting our arguments into a table so then now that we have it in a table we can then go down and loop through this so for i comma v in i pairs we're just going to say in i pairs and we're going to loop through our numbers and then we're going to say do and sum will be equal to sum plus the value. All right, so now that we have done that, we're going to come down here and we're going to say return sum so that this function gives us the final sum of the numbers that we give it. All right, so we're going to get our results in this function and then we're going to print the results. And I'm just going to change up these numbers. So let's say I wanted to add 5 and 5 together. So now that we can print it, we are then going to go over to run. And this is going to give us 10. Ignore these extra plugins. I don't know why Roblox does that. But now it gave us 10 because it added 5 and 5 together um, from these arguments. So that means that there is, a, again, as I said earlier, flexibility to your function. So you can add a ton of numbers in here. Like, instead of having to have a function that defines every number so like something like uh, a b c a b c d and all that so that each one represents a number we don't have to do that anymore so we can just put in any amount of numbers that we want and it will all add it together no matter what so pass in just some bigger numbers you know just random ones and we can then go to run and it just easily adds everything together just like that so save so much time and even in a way makes your game more optimized and just easier to use so even using this we can make so many more things like finding the max of a number concatenating strings stuff like that i'll have some code pieces here all right so we're going to make a function and this function will concatenate our string so i'm just going to call it like just uh maybe change string I guess just to save some time and this is gonna again be our variable arguments as we pass in with our three dots okay and then we're going to get a result which will be just an empty string and then we're going to loop through so for underscore comma v in i pairs and we're gonna get our table which I, again I'm just gonna put into a table and then our three dots and then do and our result will be equal to our result and then dot dot v all right and then down here we will then say return result all right so we can then come down here and we can print our chain string uh, result that we get from this and so if you don't know what concatenating strings is it's like uh, breaking up or even combining strings 
So we're going to do something kind of weird here. I'm going to say hello, and then outside of this, I'm going to make another string, basically, saying comma, and then world, and I here, I'm going to say exclamation point. And basically, we are combining all of this together. So if we go to our output and run this, it says hello world. We can even put a space here to uh, make it look a little bit better. And here's our hello world. We basically combined... Uh, all of those strings together and it's just a little another cool thing you can do with these variable arguments and so if you guys haven't already inferred this is very flexible right you can do stuff like calculating averages which I'm gonna do now so local function average so you can just pass in any uh, a group of numbers and get the average of those numbers it's super simple so much less complicated if we didn't have these but I'm going to say local sum is equal to zero and then local count is equal to zero and then again we have to loop through it because it is a table that we will be looped through and again it's going to be i pairs i'm not for sure if it really matters but we're going to put in our table and then our three dots and oh forgot to put do there but do and then sum oh sum will go to sum plus v v just like that oh i forgot to actually put v here so comma v in there we go and then we're going to say count we'll go to count plus one and at the end of this we're going to say return sum divided by the counts just like this and so once again we can come down here and then say average and then we can pass in our numbers that we want to find the average of so two four uh maybe six and we're just going to count it by twos two four six and eight so then when we go out here into our output we click run I did not actually print it I just called it oh I'm being a little bit dumb here but print average I don't know why those plugins keep popping up but ignore them for now and it gives us five so the average of all these numbers is five so I have one more code example to further prove that these are actually can be useful and that is finding the number of arguments that we pass in it's a little bit different I don't know why you would want to do this but it's just kind of cool have how we can do it so local function uh, counts arguments arguments will uh, work and then our three dots again and all this is is just we're going to, going to return and we're going to say select and then hashtag in a string comma dot 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 so it's really stupid but it works and out of you know it still works so we're gonna say come down here and say count arguments um, before we even get there I need to print that and then in here I'm gonna say one two and three I guess will just uh, work so a number of arguments I'm going to even put another thing down here and we can say like like a I don't even know like if we had a like true false uh, B this will be one you know just a random stuff and it'll count everything like that okay so we're gonna run this and this gives us three and four because in here the first one had three and then the next one we had down here had uh, four arguments so that's another random thing you guys can do with this and yeah guys that was today's video if you guys did learn something from the video or you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button I'll see you guys in the next video peace